Welcome back. I'm Rob, W1RCP. We're on element two, the technician exam, sub element seven alpha. And let's start off with some radio stuff. Which term describes the ability of a receiver to detect the presence of a signal? So that is sensitivity. And if we look at the specs for the ICOM IC7300, you can see that for SSB, that is less than 5.6 volt microvolts. So if you have a signal greater than 5.6 millionths of a volt or microvolts, then most likely your radio is going to detect that signal that is sensitive. Now, let's talk about a device. Which term, uh, what is a transceiver? It is a device that combines a receiver and a transmitter. That's a transceiver. So with a little bit of math, we can take a receiver, add it with the transmitter, and you get the transceiver. And so with a little bit of math and smashing them together, you get the FT2980, a great starter mobile rig. All righty, we're moving on down. Which of the following is used to convert a signal from one frequency to another? That is going to be a mixer. Now, in a little while, you're going to see the uh, transverter, which thank goodness it's not in these choices, but a mixer converts a signal from one frequency to another. Which term describes the ability of a receiver to discriminate between multiple signals? And that is selectivity. So imagine being in a room with a lot of people talking. You've got to select what you want to listen to. Selectivity. What is the name of a circuit that generates a signal at a specific frequency? That's an oscillator. And an oscillator could be as simple as a crystal. And that's what we have here, crystals. And there's a few other parts that go with it, but mm, yummy, crystals. They resonate at a specific frequency and they can be used in a receiver or a transmitter or a transceiver so that you can pull those signals out on that frequency. Now we go to what device converts the RF or radio frequency input and output of a transceiver to another band? That is the transverter. Transverter converts RF input and output of a transceiver to another band. You might use a two meter rig and use a transverter and change it to 400, uh, not two, uh, to 70 centimeters or 440 megahertz. Not really something I would do, but hey, you know, it's there if you want to. What is the function of a transceiver's PTT input? That switches the transceiver from receive to transmit when grounded. So if we reach over here, you got a PTT right here. That is built into the radio and, and sets the radio from transmit to receive. But we also have this same radio, and this was a Fox box that I built. And if you look where the transistor is, it is connected to the ring. And if you look at the picture next to that, the ring is the PTT, the push to talk. And so when it is grounded, that sets the radio to transmit. Now, which of the, let's make sure we don't skip any, which of the following describes combining speech with an RF carrier signal? And that is called modulation. And so I have a couple examples here that I got from the web. Amplitude modulation changes the amplitude of your, uh, between your carrier and your input. It, it is amplitude modulated. Frequency modulated is a little bit more complicated, but it changes the frequency based on your input or your modulating wave. And then digital modulation is more of an on and an off, and that is more like your CW if you were using an FM carrier. Now we have what is the function of the SSB 
to CWFM switch on the VHF power amplifier. That sets the amplifier for proper operation in the selected mode. And I have a picture of one of those amplifiers here. It doesn't have what is described in the actual test, but it does have a mode switch that you can go from CW to FM to single sideband. And that is your mode switch. So it sets the amplifier for the proper operation in the selected mode. Question 10. What device increases the transmitted output power from a transceiver? That is an RF power amplifier. Well, hey, let's go look at that again. So this would take your 5 watts and it might convert it to 100 watts, 200 watts, 300 watts, 1000 watts, 1500 watts, whatever wattage you want to put out. And that is the power amplifier. And number 11, where is an RF preamplifier installed? So a preamp boosts the signal that is coming in. And I have one more picture for you. We have the beautiful FT2980 from Yesu, not a sponsor, but you can see from the output of the radio, it runs to the receiver input on the preamplifier. And then the antenna is connected to the antenna input. It's a very crude picture, but you know, most of these things are labeled so that you can use them correctly. Alrighty, that is the end of 7 Alpha. I hope you come back for 7 Bravo and so forth. I'm Rob. Like and subscribe. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We'll have more coming up. 73.